Marcel Lynch, uh, but he did. And he lasted, I think he lasted about a week and a half. Anton again from the West Ham Network, bringing you some of the West Ham transfer rumours roundup. It's relentless, it's non-stop, it keeps on coming. So let's get straight into it. Are West Ham, the mystery Premier League club that's just bid over £40 million for Brodigal Spain star Ansu Fati. We did come incredibly close to signing the teenage sensation in the summer of 2019. Four years on, West Ham may well be trying our luck again to bring this player to East London. Several reports are saying that West Ham had an agreement in place for the player and his family, but the move for the then 17-year-old was scuppered because of issues with his Spanish passport. They also, um, some other reports reported recently that um, some clubs in the Premier League, an unofficial named club, has set, uh, made an offer for the player. Now, the report has gone back and looked at the fact that West Ham had some initial conversations with Fatty's family members and Barcelona were so concerned about losing him, they quickly inserted a huge £88.7 million pound release clause into his arranged three-year contract with an additional two-year option. Now, he remained at the Camp Nou, though he was hailed a natural hire um, to Lionel Messi. But after a promising start, things have not quite worked out that way. And earlier in the summer, it was reported that Barcelona were desperate to sell the star whose family secretly agreed a deal to come to West Ham. Now, if Fatty was to leave um, Barcelona this summer... Um, they would probably be looking to insert a buyback clause into the deal. But things have been quiet in recent years up until now. And are West Ham that mystery Premier League club that bid the £40-plus million pound for um, the prodigal son, they call him, in Spain, is uh, Fatty. Now, if that was to be true, it looks like he is open to leaving uh, Barcelona. What would he bring to West Ham. Well, he's an exciting young player, but um, it should be noted that there are many other clubs in England potentially interested in bringing him to the club. So do we have enough of a temptation to bring him in now that he saw the taste of European football, Champions League football, um, or will he be excited about the prospect and the plan of moving forward with West Ham? I don't know. You put it in the comments and you let me know your thoughts on that one. Now, according to other reports, the Nottingham Forest are now battling Wolves to sign Aaron Creswell as they look to bolster their back line. Now, looking at the situation with Wills, Julien Lopetigu is looking likely that he will leave the club and Gary O'Neill could be the replacement for um, him going at in at Wills. And they've already got Craig Dawson from West Ham earlier in the year. They may be looking to do Friends Reunited. We heard about the news coming out earlier in the summer window that Creswell was keen to move from the club. He's not been training with the club and we are looking more likely that he will be le uh, heading out the door. Now, Wills are in financial trouble. We don't really know what's going on with the Wills situation, but they are definitely sniffing around our fullback in Aaron Creswell and we are toying with about a £5 million pound um, situation there, fee. Now, he's only got one year left on his £50,000 per week contract um, and he knows that he has not got a long-term future at the club as well. So you put your comments in and leave um, them to me and I'll get back to you on that one. But if he was to go, would this three-time capped England... Sorry, sorry, not three-time capped, I should say. But if we got um, a ready-made replacement in Ian Matson amid additional interest from Burnley, Ajax and Len as well, apparently Chelsea are looking to tie down the 21-year-old down to a new contract. But if Creswell was to go, we would need to be looking at a replacement and Ian Matson could be that guy. But there is a lot of interest from a lot of other clubs, especially the fact that Chelsea would want to keep a hold of their young star. Put it in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are on Ian Matson as 
Well, last but not least, this one is all about James Ward-Prowse, JWP. West Ham, I've heard so many times over the coming weeks, it's a take-it-or-leave-it deal to Southampton if you want the player. They want as much money as they possibly can. West Ham have bid what they said they think he is worth, but it looks like we will be determined to try and go and bring in JWP. It looks like there is a three-horse race for that middle of the park after we bring in Alvarez with JWP, with Scott McTominay, and with Connor Gallagher. So out of those three, who do you fancy? But West Ham may finally put the final piece of the jigsaw in there by offering Southampton one final chance to let their star player go and come to West Ham. We are led to believe that James Ward-Prowse wants to move to West Ham. We do know that. That's very clear as mustard. So we will have to see if this deal does turn into anything. But leave your comments in below as well with regards to JWP coming to West Ham. There's your little transfer roundup. There's your short, short, sweet, straight to the point. What's going to happen at West Ham? Stay tuned for the West Ham Network. We'll update you as soon as we get any breaking news from the club. Take it easy. And of course, come on, you beautiful irons.